In this video we will talk about glenohumeral internal rotation deficit. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Glenohumeral internal rotation deficit, abbreviated as GERD, is a sport-specific adaptation of posterior shoulder structures due to excessive overload during activities such as frequent throwing. There are three main theories about these specific adaptations. The first theory hypothesizes that there is a contracture of the posterior capsule followed by associated gains in external rotation. The second theory states that GERD may develop due to bony adaptations in early years of overhead throwing. And the last and third theory hypothesizes that hypertrophy of the external rotators due to frequent eccentric loading results in an internal rotation deficit of the glenohumeral joint. To assess for GERD, check internal rotation in the supine position with the arm in 90 degrees of abduction. You can use a digital inclinometer, which has been shown to be most reliable in shoulder range of motion assessment. So I have the patient in supine lying position, abduct the arm to 90 degrees, and then use the thumb of one hand to palpate the coracoid process to check for scapular movement, and then grab the arm at the wrist and induce internal rotation. A loss of more than 10 degrees between sides is considered a positive sign for GERD. However, it's not that simple to diagnose GERD solely based on a more than 10 degree difference between sides in internal rotation. What's more interesting is to see the total range of motion from external to internal rotation. This T-ROM commonly varies between 135 to 180 degrees with no more than a 10 degree difference between sides. While you may have seen a side-to-side -side difference of more than 10 degrees of internal rotation, the T-ROM for both shoulders might be the same with the side having less internal rotation, displaying an increase in external rotation. So to diagnose GERD, assess the total range of motion of internal and external rotation in both shoulders and see if there is a more than 10 degree difference. Okay, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below with questions or feedback, and if you are new here or haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button to support our channel. Speaking of support, check the links in the video description to find out about ways how you can support us. For example, by writing subtitles or by purchasing our very own assessment ebook or mobile app. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.